Hi everybody, John Han with The Pulsing Cinema, and today's movie is a special movie. It's The Evil Dead. Not not the remake, no. The uh, original 1981 Sam Raimi film, and uh, Sam Raimi was just really an inspiration to me as a young kid growing up in the late 80s and early 90s. I remember I saw Sam Raimi. I became aware of Sam Raimi with the um, the incredibly strange film show episode. Then that I watched it Saturday and that Sunday I was bugging my mom's like we got to go and rent Evil Dead Two, you know, because I'd heard of Evil Dead Two, but it was just an ordinary film. But then I I knew about Sam Raimi and it became like a really special movie. And I watched Evil Dead 2 and it totally, you know, blew up my mind. It totally blew blew away any conception that I had of what a horror film could be and what a movie in general could be. I mean, it was just a, a roller coaster ride of a, of a film and a, and, a, and, a, and a special piece of cinema. Uh, and so Evil Dead 2 is really, really, really special. But then I went back and watched the, the first film, Evil Dead. And really, Evil Dead 2 is just like an amped up version of the original Evil Dead, you know? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, you know, from a, from a plot standpoint, it's a little bit different that the original Evil Dead, you've, you've got a group of friends, and this is basically Ash and Evil Dead 2. But you, you still got that same dynamic, you still got the bravura camera work. Uh, the the original Evil Dead is a little more of a uh, of a conventional horror film, though. You know, you get a bunch of you get a group of people into a secluded setting, and then stuff starts happening around them. It's a siege film. You know, it was really heavily inspired by Equinox uh, and Night of the Living Dead. Really, Equinox. I mean, the idea of the whole accursed book and and all of that stuff, and the uh, you know stop motion animation stuff going around, you know, that's all out of Equinox. It's a real, it's a, in some ways a real rehash of Equinox, which was another low budget horror film from the late '60s and early '70s, that was made by David Allen and a lot of early uh, special effects, uh, visual effects supervisors, people would go on to work in Star Wars and, and all of these, uh, you know, industrial light and magic stuff. And, and, uh, but they made this together, they made this, made this little low budget uh, horror movie. And it was a real special, special movie, Equinox. Uh, but it, that was really the inspiration for The Evil Dead. So the Evil Dead, for me, I, I first saw the Evil Dead on uh, a VHS that I bought from Kmart. I begged my parents to buy this VHS from Kmart, and I think it was almost like a semi-bootleg VHS. I'm not sure if it was an authorized copy. I watched it, and then it, it wasn't quite the same experience as Evil Dead 2. But over the years, I've rewatched Evil Dead, Evil Dead, Evil Dead, uh, and it's uh, still a... A very 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 special movie um, it has a lot of really incredible 60 millimeter camera work uh, the soundtrack the little string score by Loduca is special uh, and in some ways I, I almost like this the soundtrack in uh, in the original Evil Dead a little better than Evil Dead 2 I don't I don't really find the soundtrack in Evil Dead 2 is very memorable in the same way that I, there was some really beautiful stuff in in the original Evil Dead that it just able to do just a very simple film. Yet it does have some cool moments of stop motion animation and, and special effects and then just extravagant uh, kind of slime gore, you know. Gore more to the extent of doing it at, at, where it gets into this kind of, uh, you know, Three Stooges, you know, hyper-stylized stuff. Evil Dead isn't quite as hyper-stylized as Evil Dead 2, but you can still tell that, you know, we're getting into that splat stick era. You know, we're getting into where gore and, and violence are, are going to be hyper-stylized, and really Sam Raimi is leading the pack in that. So... Of course, you know, Evil Dead, big success. It got the quote. It, it went to the Cannes Film Festival. It was a big success. It got the, the quote from uh, Stephen King, the most ferociously original film I've seen, right? Something like that. 
got some distribution, uh, got on video. Uh, they, the Sam Raimi and his friends went ahead and made Crime Wave, and it didn't turn out very well. And then they went and did Evil Dead 2, and it turned out really well. And Dark Man, which turned out okay, and Army of Darkness. And then onwards, uh, Sam Raimi goes into Xena, the Warrior Princess, and whatever, uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Spider-Man. Uh, but he's still a great filmmaker, and, and Evil Dead is, is uh, you know, a cult film, an underground film, still a great film, a, a film which was a cause celeb in uh, a big controversy in the UK when it came out on home video, and it was uh, Palace Pictures uh, released it on home video, and and they were, uh, there was a big, uh, went into some big litigation with the government, the obscenity trial, and um, the the UK government didn't pick its fights very well. Because, I mean, Evil Dead is, is nothing, no one would see this as an obscene film. I mean, some people might not enjoy it or might not like it, but, I mean... It's it's in some ways a, a very classy film, you know. I mean, it, it's it's very hyper stylized and obviously a very artistic film. It's not something like uh, I Spit on Your Grave or Last House on the Left, something that you can you can dis, you can dismiss as a lot of trash. I mean, there's obviously a lot of a talent and originality that even the most uh, basic you know average Joe movie watcher can grasp. That it's just a film that looks and sounds cool, and still to this day kind of looks and sounds like no other film. It really just, it you know, immediately just bursts forth with, um, with that this kind of signature type Sam Raimi hyper stylized slapstick, gory, you know, uh, excessive. Um, populist, yet, yet very accessible type of uh, film. So, yeah, so they, they won a, so Palace Pictures won a very big battle in the UK, and um, that Graham Humphrey's art, cover art in the UK for, for Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2, that kind of neon greens, that, that's really incredible. That's really beautiful. Uh, so, yeah, so the Evil Dead, a, a great film, uh, which kicked off an era, uh, the, the 80s of, of horror films and Sam Raimi and uh, Ash and uh, stuff which, you know, still goes on to this day. People are, every every year, some, some new kid sees uh, Evil Dead. It, it's released on a, like a quarterly schedule by Anchor Bay. They will release it. A, uh, a, uh, a DVD or a Blu-ray or, or whatever every, every it seems like every like 16 months we've got to have a new Evil Dead release and they're always at the top of the video sales charts they have been for like a decade for over a decade since Anchor Bay started cranking out the, the Evil Dead on, on, uh, on VHS and then moved into DVD and now Blu-ray but uh, you know, again, to this day, new every every year, a new uh, new crop of kids will be exposed to the Evil Dead and will will uh, recognize its greatness of Eve, both Evil Dead One and Evil Dead Two. Uh, so it just to this day continues going on. The sickness spreads, <laughs> no, the greatness spreads. Oh man, a great film. <laughs>